Let's open this up, viewers. The question is, is the Congress desperately withholding their nominations to protect the Gandhis from the ultimate truth? Or have the Gandhis and the Congress given up? There can only be two questions. And Congress leader is here with us, Nikul Patel. Let me ask him first. What's the issue? You have only now two days left to decide. I don't know if any other political party has delayed taking a decision so consequential for so long. It almost appears as if the Congress is taking the electorate for granted. I'm not saying this. A large number of even Congress people are now saying it. Mr. Patel, and it doesn't really behove the Congress to perhaps uh, overwhelmingly in some ways hold the voter in such contempt. He has a right to know. Or she has yeah, a right to know. Yeah, uh, definitely your concern regarding both the seats are very uh, good. Because you as also a citizen of the country feels that both the seats are now having left two days for filing the nomination and still the Congress in its spray to decide the candidates for both the seats. You also very rightly explained and I thankful to you regarding the legacy what Rai Bareilly and Amiti was having regarding uh, right trust, uh, starting from Indira Gandhi ji to uh, Sonia Gandhi ji in Rai Bareilly and uh, uh, regarding Amiti Rahul Gandhi ji. Uh, secondly, definitely it's getting late to declare the candidates, but the people of Rai Bareilly and Amiti are really supporting the Congress and we feel that they are going to be with us. Uh, right now, uh, rightly, uh, Central Action Committee must be able to declare they are both the candidates, but we feel that uh, definitely we are going to contest from those two seats because during the sheet sharing formula with Samajwadi Party, these both the seats are with Congress. And we have a legacy in it and we trust the people. Now let's see when uh, the Central uh, uh, Central Action Committee declares it. But uh, I would like to say from here that uh, the people of the Rai Bareilly and Amethi are waiting for Rahul Gandhi ji and Priyanka Gandhi ji. Now it's the decision time for... No, but why the is the Congress Party. keeping them waiting? Is the Congress scared that Amethi will not return Rahul Gandhi back to power because Smriti Irani has like this iron hold over this seat or is there some other reason? Is it because once he wins or if he wins, he'll have to give up? Why not make a choice which will reflect poorly on the Congress campaign in Kerala when the state assembly elections which are going to happen in the next few years? Uh. See, now contesting from two seats and leaving one seat, that comes after the results. And if we see Amethi, uh, Rahul Gandhi ji is winning since 2004. And if we see in 2009-14, in 2019, Smriti Nari, Smriti ji first time uh, was able to win by 55,000 votes. And now she is working as a member of parliament since last five years. Uh, but again, uh, the way uh, uh, what we our we feel that the people are not happy with the way uh, she is uh, becoming so, sir, the deliver the people over. from this unhappiness. Name Rahul Gandhi, definitely. do din baj gaye, sir. Anyhow, let me open this up. I mean, why wouldn't the Congress quickly move in to deliver the people from their unhappiness? They're the prisoners of, uh, according to this Congress leader, Smriti Irani's neglect. Now, Dr. Ranganathan, I know that you know, one or two of your comments have already gone viral on this issue. I don't know possibly what new you can say, but still, I'm sure you've come equipped to make a couple of points which, which still might uh, strike a chord with the viewer. Uh, good evening, Rahul, and good evening to my fellow panelists. You know, Rahul, if you are running a loss-making company, you don't go to an investor to ask him to invest in you so that you can actually take over a larger company. The investor will say, well, you had a company to run, a smaller company as a pilot, and you made that company uh, incur huge losses. But if you're a dynast, doesn't a company incur? And that is exactly the problem 
with the Nehru Gandhis and their dynasty bastions, Amethi and Raibhi. Uh, uh, you know, bold move. He went to West Bengal, that was then ruled by the Marxist uh, CPIM, and he said Purulia is the most backward district of the country. Mm. Obviously, he incensed his communist friends, and they came up with their census data. And they compared Purulia, which Rahul thought was the most backward, to Amethi Raibareli. That was the Nehru Gandhi bastion for 60-65 years. And the statistics were startling. In 2010-2011, 54% of people in Amethi Raibareli were before, below the poverty line. Only 14% houses were electrified. 16% children, only 16% were vaccinated. And the neonatal death rate of Amethi Raibareli was three times higher than the national average. This is not me supplying their data, but Rahul's friends and Congress's friends, the leftists. So the proof of the pudding is in front of you. On what basis does Rahul or the Congress go to India asking for votes to say that, look, under us, India will improve. If under them for 65 years, Amethi and Rai really have been poorer than what Rahul thought was the poorest district in the country. I mean, are Indians fools? But here is the question. You look at the other dynasty bastions, for example, Baramati, for example, Safai. Baramati in 2010-11, almost 100% electricity, 90% literacy rate. Most of the houses were electrified. Vaccination was almost to the full extent for children. Now, that is what, quote unquote, without being patronizing, dynasty bastions are supposed to do. It's like a pilot project. They tell the rest of the country that, look, this has been under our concern for 50 years, 40 years, 30 years, and we are a dynasty. They gloat about it. And look how much good work we've done here. But please tell me, please ask the Congress leader uh, whether it is all right for someone to make a loss making company and then go to an investor and say, look, Look at my loss making company. Please invest in me. Trust me. I will make India a profitable company. Mr. Patel, on what basis then are you saying that the people want to reprise their faith once again in uh, Rahul Gandhi? The statistics are stark. They're revealing. They show that he's done nothing. The statistics says, as per my friend, that there has been nothing. But if you see, there have been ordinance factory, there has been hospitals, government schools, road, rail infrastructure, and whatever requirements of those people are being satisfied over a period of years. And that is why the people of Rai Bareil and Amity being always being with Congress. And as a Congress representative from that constituency, uh, uh, means uh, so many contributions are there for the entire nation, and people look into it as what. Uh, Pradhan Mantri Can you name a few? Bharatani. Can you what? name a few? What are these contributions from Amethi? That is what I'm saying. Ordinance, factory, hospitals, government schools, rails, infrastructure, road. No, so how all is it things? that you're so down on all the other parameters, the main ones, on all these counts? Connectivity, when, when, when infrastructure, when you electricity. When you don't have electricity, how are you going to run all these neonatal... Units, six sector, etc. Sector. How does it work? Rahul, can I please ask this uh, yeah. very by Congress leader? Go ahead. Now, you know, the other thing is about trust. Now, I want to ask a very simple question. This is from Times Now, uh, Times of India rather. It says PM Modi promised rupees 15 lakhs in every bank account. This is the verbatim statement of Rahul Gandhi. I want to ask the Congress spokesperson is this a lie? Or is this a truth, what Rahul Gandhi uttered? It's a simple yes and no question, sir. The 15 lakh, we know that uh, whatever was spoken by uh, Pradhan Mantri ji is spoken by Rahul Gandhi ji that, he, that it is... Uh, what you are asking, whether Pradhan Mantri is correct or Rahul Gandhi ji is correct? Yes. Did, did Prime Minister say that... Did he promise that he will put 15 lakhs in every Indian bank account? This is what Rahul Gandhi claimed Modi said. Is Rahul Gandhi lying or is he saying the truth? He is saying the truth. That is what we have seen. And wow. we have seen that in wow. the Lok Sabha, it was so it was spoken by the Honorable Minister that it was all Jumlas. I think you must also quote that. Uh, actually, sir, that uh, 